Hi, hopefully this will work. My um, regular camera for some reason is wrapping out today. Let me hold it over here so there's a little more sunlight. So I'm actually doing this from my phone camera, which is why it doesn't look like um, I'm actually looking directly at you guys. I don't know which direction would help that. So this is gonna be a little awkward because it looks like a side view, but anyways, whatever. I wanted to do a quick fun little video for you. Um, I don't know if you've noticed by my videos or not, but I'm a very seasonal person. And I, it seems like whatever season it is, I am ready and wishing that it was the next season. So like right now I'm already kind of ready for fall. I'm not, um, not big into the heat and that. There's definitely some good things about summer, but fall is my favorite. So this time of year I start getting excited for it. But, um, today I wanted to do just a quick little, uh, discussion, I guess, about something that's non-beauty or non like nail polish or fashion related. So I wanted to tell you my favorite summer movies. And some of these are a little embarrassing, so just be prepared to probably judge me. And um, <laughs> this video makes me look more, <laughs> makes me look like I have more muscle than I normally do. I don't know if it's like that camera adding <laughs> 10 pound things or what, but I'm actually like quite small in person. So I feel like I look jacked. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, the first one is, I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but back in the 90s, the movie came out and it had um, Winnie Cooper or Danica McKellar from The Wonder Years and Josh Saviano or Paul Pfeiffer from The Wonder Years. It also had DJ Tanner or Candace Cameron and it has Jennifer Aniston, like one of her very first roles, which I think is kind of funny. And it's got um, John Ratzenberger from Cheers. I always get him and George Wendt's character names mixed up, so I don't know which one is which. But anyway, that's not important. Um, and it also has Urkel. And it's there's another guy that's from something, a blonde guy, but I can't place him. But anyway, it's about a, a summer camp, and they're trying to get their accreditation. And so they make this rap video. And it's basically just like the adventures of these kids dating, and having crushes and family problems and stuff in it. The only thing I don't like is the ending, and I'm not gonna tell you how it ends because I don't wanna ruin it for you if you haven't seen it, but it's just very silly and kitschy, and it's a movie you can watch with your family and your kids because it doesn't have anything like inappropriate. It's just really like very silly, typical 90s movie, but it's one of my favorites. And the next one is actually, I'm gonna change hands here, is, um. A Disney movie, and that is Lilo and Stitch. I think Lilo and Stitch is the perfect summer movie because it takes place in Hawaii, and there is um, surfing and the beach and Elvis music, and it's just very, it makes me think of summer, you know, if I watch it a different time of year. And Stitch is really cute. I met him, well, a person dressed up like him, at a, <laughs> don't let your kids watch it, it'll ruin it for them, at Disney World. Um, and he was one of my favorites. I actually think I would be a good candidate to wear the Stitch costume because I'm only five feet tall. So I feel like maybe that's a future career for me if writing and stuff doesn't work out. But anyway, um, Lilo and Stitch is really cute. And I like the beach theme and the family theme. And it's just a really cute movie. The next one is actually Ernest Goes to Camp. And this is an, a one where you'll be like, really, Alyssa? <laughs> but I like the Ernest movies. I always think that they're really funny. My favorite one... Well, that's a hard one. I really like Ernest Saves Christmas, and I like Ernest Scared Stupid, the Halloween one. But Ernest Goes to Camp is he actually, I hope I'm getting this right, meets up. He goes to camp and works as a maintenance guy and meets up with a Native American, I don't know if it's a chief or just a tribe member. I'm not sure. But anyway, they um, end up having to save the camp from like a guy who wants to do construction there. Obviously, I'm a little fuzzy on the details. I meant I was going to pull it up on my phone when I was going to videotape it. And of course, I can't do that now. But anyway, it's really silly and it's cute. And um, it's a really good movie to watch with your kids because there's a lot of like slapstick comedy and stuff like that. And it's really, it's just a funny, silly summer camp movie. And the next one is Summer Rental. I'd never seen this before until this summer. And Andrew suggested we watch it. But it's one of the last movies that John Candy did. And it's really cute. It actually surprised me because reading the preview on Netflix, it sounded kind of stupid, but it's actually pretty funny. And it's about a family that goes 
to the beach and they rent a summer house and basically it's like a crap hole and it's kind of their misadventures. It's sort of like, it's a little bit like, um, a National Lampoon's Vacation movie, except it's not quite as like perverted. I think this one would probably be better to watch with your kids. There is a few little things in um, that you might want to be leery of, but all in all, you know, it's pretty appropriate and it's a cute little movie. Sorry, I keep switching hands. My, arm, my arms with my big guns are getting tired. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood today, apparently. The next one is um, a kid's movie that came out when I was like early college, but it's Aquamarine with, um, has Emma Roberts, Jojo, do you guys remember Jojo when she used to have songs on the radio? And also it has, um, oh, what is that girl's name? Sarah Paxton, I guess, the really pretty blonde girl that looks like Rory Gil Gilmore, only a blonde. But anyway, um, it's about two friends and they live on the coast. And one of them is going to have to move, I don't know where to, but anyway, really far away. And they're all upset about it. And so, um, they, uh, it's kind of like their misadventures that they're kind of last summer together before they move away. And they meet a mermaid who has the ability to be human for a certain amount of time during the day. And it's kind of about them like finding love and being teenagers and all that kind of stuff. But it's really cute and it is definitely very, very appropriate for kids there's no language or anything bad in it but it's just a really cute fun little movie the next one is the out of towners this one's more for the grown-ups but there's not a whole lot of really terrible stuff in it i guess but it stars um steve martin and goldie hahn and it's about a trip they take when he's trying to go on a job interview to new york and they just end up like on the wrong planes and getting mugged and all these different things and it's just really i was surprised at how much i laughed at it but it's really fun and it kind of is a reminder of the good movie making that used to happen. It's still funny, but it's also quite appropriate. I mean, there's definitely some stuff in it that's not appropriate. But um, it's just a really funny movie that I think is a good movie to watch with like your husband or your boyfriend or something. Because there's, you know, some silly adult jokes. But it's basically just them trying to travel and a lot of bad stuff happening to them while they travel. And the next one is The Parent Trap. And the reason I chose The Parent Trap is, and it doesn't matter which version, um, I actually thought the Lindsay Lohan version was really good, but the Haley Mills version from the, I want to say the 60s, I don't know when that came out, um, that Disney produced is also good. Actually, Disney produced both of them. But anyway, I'm rambling because I'm trying to get all this in under a certain <laughs> amount of time. But um, The Parent Trap is a good summer movie because it takes place during the summer where the girls meet, um, it's identical twins, and they meet each other while they're at camp and they didn't know about one another because their parents got divorced when they were just, excuse me, they had the hiccups, while they um, were babies and one parent took one kid and the other took the other kid so they never knew about each other until they met at camp. Um, and it's just a really cool movie about them switching places and developing that sisterly relationship. But I like that one, either version. I think the uh, original that Disney put out has some more songs in it and then that part's kind of cute but it's actually I think it would be a fun movie night with your family to watch both of them and kind of compare the two but the next one is one of my favorites and it is Tiny Toons How I Spent My Vacation when I was little was when um Tiny Toons came out I guess I'm well I'm 28 so I was I was a little bit older I guess but um <laughs> Tiny Toons Vacation How I Spent My Vacation is basically the story of Hamilton the pig. Uh, what is the duck's name? Um, Plucky. Plucky the duck. I was like, it's not Daffy. Daffy's like his uncle or his dad or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, Hamilton is a pig and his family invites Plucky to go with them to Happy World Land. And it, they have like a terrible time trying to get there. And then when they get there, it's all a mess. And it's just, I don't want to tell you too much because it's hilarious. I mean, they get chased by like a serial killer and they ride the monorail, and it's just really funny. And then on the other hand, there's Babs and Buster, who are the rabbits that you always see, like, in the Tiny Toons, um, I guess, label or logo or whatever. And they end up on, like, a steamboat and down a wooden raft, kind of like Huck Finn. Is that? Yeah, Huck Finn or Tom Sawyer. I always get mixed up, which, who's who. But anyway, whichever one ended up on the raft, I believe that was Huckleberry Finn. Um... 
it's kind of a similar thing. They have like the banjos playing, the dueling banjos, kind of like delivering stuff in the trees and it's possums. And it's just, I, I know I'm not making a whole lot of sense right now, but definitely watch it and watch it with your kids. It's hilarious. Um, and I laugh, you know, hard every time I watch it. The next one is Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation. I'm a huge Jimmy Stewart fan. And um, this is a Jimmy Stewart movie where he takes his family on a vacation to the beach. And again, he's in a really crappy, dumpy house. Um, and he's got a daughter that's having like silly marital problems and grandkids that don't behave. And this um, kind of trampy, for lack of a better word, woman that's chasing him. And it, it sounds like kind of jacked up, but it's really cute. And it's very much a family movie. And I'm not sure. I want to say that Disney produced that one too. But I'm not. Don't hold me to that because I'm not sure. But anyway, if you like older kind of classic movies, it's got Maureen O'Hara, which is actually the mom from the original Parent Trap. And um, Jimmy Stewart. And it's just a really cute, like, 50s, beachy kind of fun movie. And it's much better than that. What's that beach party one that like Annette Funicello is that kind of wasn't that good? It's much better than that. I will say that. And then the last one is The Moon Spinners, and that actually has Haley Mills in it too. Um, I can't really explain what happens in this movie too well because I haven't seen it in a while, but I immediately wrote it on my list because I remember liking it. But it's about a mother and a daughter who take a summer vacation, and there's romance, and there's adventure. And, you know, they're in caves and they do all this kind of stuff. So I think you'll like it. But anyway, that is it. If you would like to tell me what your favorite summer movies. Oh, I forgot The Babysitter's Club. The Babysitter's Club is a good summer movie, too. The one with, like, Rachel Lee Cook and um, Larissa Olenek that played Alex Mack. I, totally, I can't believe I left that one out. But, yeah, that one's really good, too. It's kind of, um, it's a little sappy, but it's good. And um, it's about them putting on like a summer day camp for the kids. But anyway, let me know what your favorite summer movies are in the link below. And I hope you like this silly, um, completely off, <laughs> off the beauty grid video. And if you liked it and would like to hear more of my random favorites, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you're having a good summer. Bye.